Hi, welcome to The Vergas Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining me today, and I'm with Mayor Dean Harstick. Hi, Dean. Hi. Thanks for joining me, and where we are at is we are at the brand new renovated city office, and I have to tell you, as a, a resident of the city of Vergas, I really appreciate the idea that the council decided to go ahead and make a new entrance and um, just spiff up the office. Um, I, I just really appreciate that, and I think it just brings a new level to our whole city council. So thank you for doing that. Dean Harstick is mayor of Vergas, and I thought, oh, you know, now would be a good time going into 2011, talk about what the vision of Vergas is with you. And um, our city council members are Scott Goodman and Sean Day and Paul, no, Kevin Zitzo and Paul Pinky, is yes, that right? right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I did pretty good there without. <laughs> and, um, and so those are the people, and along with you, and then the city clerk, Pat Elke, who um, take care of the city business. And I guess what I'd like to know, and I think the people of Vergas would like to know, is what kind of vision do you have for Vergas going into 2011? Okay, I can quote you uh, from my own perspective. I cannot say the city council because right, that, I understand we get that. Kind of tied yeah, well, that's true. In yeah. that. So it just goes. I think Vergas is. Uh, we should concentrate on our positive attributes that we have around town. And we've there are got, a lot of them. Yes, we've got like the beautiful yes. natural resources. We've got uh, the lakes, of course, which everybody enjoys, uh, mm -hmm. the trees and the trails and this kind of thing that are, are around that we're going to try to well, and I think do the, some work on. I think the thing that the city um, has has um, done and what is so nice too is, is our natural resources in all the seasons. I mean, of course, right now we're in winter and so we're um, enjoying the beautiful snow and the ice fishing in that but but um, you know there's no getting around it summers are big time yeah there's always a change you yes know, so you don't get bored well that's good and so that's that's one thing we can focus on what okay I think another thing is is our business community that we have I mean it's it's in a very tight-knit area where all the business are at it's both good and bad uh, you can walk within um, the different places that you need mm -hmm. to, need to attend the banking, the grocery store, the hardware, the liquor is all uh, plus restaurants. Everything is all in gift stores. Walking distance. W in walking distance. I mean, everybody is, it, which makes it really, really nice. And, and you. Uh, so you said that's a positive. What do you see positive. as a negative then? With that. The negative with that is sometimes you're landlocked into that, let's say if another business wants to come in to expand. And of course, there's we've been looking at a couple different areas or some people have as far as development. And uh, it has grown out a little bit like across the tracks and mm -hmm. stuff with Josh's new um, school right. place okay. and this kind and of thing. And then we've got some right by the elevator there too. You know, right. that would possibly be an you area can, that, and and I, I know one of the residents recently mentioned too the idea of maybe we need to start bu buying up um, some of the homes on the, on the blocks. It's, it's always a possibility mm -hmm. that things like that can happen. I personally, like to say that uh, to survive in a small town, you have to do the difficult and the unusual. <laughs> That's true. So and I mean, you can't. You 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 have to acknowledge the big box stores are there. And you have exactly. to work around you can't it for ignore what them. you can do. No, yeah. no, that's true. You have to provide that uniqueness. Okay. What else you got there, Dean? Okay. I'd like to say you know I think Vergas does it quite well is to promote a friendly mm -hmm. neighbor to neighbor uh, uh, atmosphere in town as far as like uh, where people meet and gather. We have a beautiful community center, which yes. uh, we can make use of, probably could even make better use of, as far as uh, both community actions of um, Well, I, I, I like to think, you know, that um, a lot of people um, automatically, you know, think of going out of town sometimes when they're planning their big gathering or whatever. And we ha you, you're right, we do have this wonderful community center that we maybe have to think outside the box a little bit sometimes and, and realize that it's going to work for your event. Yep. Yeah. So I think that's something that the city of Vergas has got to offer. Of course, other towns that have it as well. Uh, we as, as the city people together, and all the citizens, should everybody get together to promote our town. Yeah, so. isn't that true? I mean, when when you talk about town friendliness, um, there's not a whole lot of little little towns anymore that um, you walk up and down the street and you everybody's friendly. They they right. say hello and and they they're happy that people are here in town. Yep. Yeah. And then to visit with uh, the visitors that come, whether it's the uh, summer people that come or uh, people that are just passing through. I mean, always be if you could keep a positive mental attitude toward mm -hmm. things and uh, that, that kind of rubs off for, for people who want to come back again to the stone. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, that, that, that's a key right there. What do you see for growth, Dean? What do you think Vergus needs for growth? There seems to be some uh, uh, vibrations, you might say, as far as people may, wanted to expand the borders of Vergus a little bit, mm -hmm. so you can get, uh, because we got the water sewer services, we do. Uh, which make it a very nice uh, infrastructure that we can provide for people. Um, What's and as far as housing, um, what, what do you see in town as far as housing for people that are looking for a place to, to live that maybe do work outside of town? Are we, are we situated pretty good that way? I think we probably could have more areas to choose from. I mean, mm -hmm. you can have, you, there are some lake areas for sale right now. There is some uh, back wooded areas for sale as well. So it's kind of a nice mixture. Mm -hmm. Not everyone wants to have uh, right by the lake, but you, yet they still want to come to Fergus right. to... Uh, to live. So. That's great. What do you want if you had somebody um, call the city office and say, you know, if I was going to be um, looking at your community, sell it to me in two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, the big thing is it would be the positive support that we have as far as with our businesses, our infrastructure, our, our uh, that we have as far as like the water sewer is something that, you know, isn't that much seen up front, but still very, very important. When mm -hmm. water came in about 15 years ago, it really made a huge difference in town. Uh, when we came into remodeling both the community center and now the liquor store, uh, so we take pride in our, our, our town as well. It costs some money to get this true. changed. This is true. But um, so you can't always say that you'll never raise taxes. Sometimes you just have to feel what the pulse of the people are as far as what they want. Sometimes they want more stuff and they're willing to pay for it. Yeah. So you have to have open ears so you can listen to what's going on. Yeah, and open minds for that change. And so I guess I, I, I really light on what you, um, you made that comment is like we cannot ignore that the bigger box stores are out there and the bigger towns are out there. And, and so I really appreciate that the council and, and the people of Burgess, the, the businesses, rely on that unique customer service that only the only small towns can provide yes. and and so I think um, I hope that everybody takes an opportunity when you're in town in Vergas and stopping in and seeing the new city office and then they they can find you over at the Vergas board or, or Pat can give you a call to um, just to visit about the positives that Vergas has um, to offer and, and, and I appreciate that a lot and so I'm sure that um, you're enjoying your new office, and I'm sure that um, the people that come in through the doors are enjoying it, and, and I just hope that everybody takes that opportunity to stop in in Burgess in 2011 and just see what wonderful resources we do have and, and what wonderful people we have. So you have a good day in Burgess.